play Reflections by The Neighborhood. We are in standard tuning. There's no capo. We're going to start out learning this piece. And then we're going to talk about the chord progression that you can play throughout the entire song, which is just this. And you'll notice that I'm playing power five chords for those chords. So those are the chords we're going to learn. So we're not going to start out learning the chords like we usually do. We're just going to jump right in here. So you're going to start out with your ring finger on your third fret of the low E string. And we're going to simultaneously pick the low E and your B string. Two. So one, two. Now you're going to drop that finger and now we're going to pick the open E and the open G. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now you're going to add your ring finger to the third fret of the D string. That's one, two, three strings down. And we're going to pick the D string in the high E, which is this bottom string down here. Okay, so. One more time here. Okay, so that's what you can play throughout the intro and the verse. Um, if you'd like, you can also just play this chord progression in the verse and the chorus. So we're going from a B5 chord to an A5 chord, G5 to an E minor. B5 chord, your index is going to be on the 2nd fret of the A string, that's your 2nd string down on the 2nd fret. Your ring finger and your pinky are going to be <coughs> stretched all the way over on the 4th frets of the D and the G string, and you're going to just try and play those 3 strings, so you're not playing this low E and you're not playing those 2 high strings. If you'd like, you can just do a, a B minor bar chord, but I think it sounds better with the power chords, because they're playing it on an electric guitar anyway. Um, from there you're going to go to your A5 chord, so you can have your middle finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, that's 1, 2, 3 strings down, ring finger on the 2nd fret of the G string, and again you're just trying to play those 3 strings. From there we're going to move our index finger to the 3rd fret of the low E string and your ring finger and your pinky are going to stretch up to the 5th frets of the A and the D so it's the same shape as this B but you move up a string and over one fret and now you're just trying to play those top 3 strings not these bottom 3 <clears throat> and then finally we have an E minor so your middle finger is going to be on the 2nd fret of the A ring finger on the 2nd fret of the D string, and you can play, if you wanted for this you could play all the strings, because they're all part of the chord, but I think it sounds better to just play the top few strings there. Okay, so, let's start simple here, we got a B, we're going to move to our A5, to our G5, E minor, and if we want to start adding a strumming pattern, that could go like this. So, down, 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 up, switch, down, 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 up, switch, down, 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 down. Slow that down here. That's all there is to it. So that progression, and then this little <coughs> finger picking. 
that's all you need to know how to play this song. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. I did go through that all pretty quick, so if you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you enjoy this content, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Check out my songwriting playlist and follow me on Instagram at Jeremiah James Music. Thanks for watching.